Welcome to our channel. Thank you for visiting. We appreciate your input. Please leave us a comment or a question below. Today we answer the question, what are homeopathic medicines? According to Mount Sinai, homeopathy is derived from the Greek words for, like, and, suffering. The guiding principle behind homeopathy is like cures like, originates from Egypt and ancient Greece. In the late 18th century, a German physician named Samuel Hanneman read that quinine containing Peruvian bark, chinchona, cured malaria. Hanneman swallowed a dose of Peruvian bark and began to feel feverish, drowsy, extremely thirsty, and agitated, which are all symptoms of malaria. Hanneman started to experiment more and formed his theory that like cures like, or the law of similars, that when a substance in large doses causes certain symptoms, in small doses it can cure these same symptoms. Herbs and other plants, minerals, venom from snakes, and other substances can be used to make homeopathic remedies. They are diluted again and again and, succused, or shaken vigorously between each dilution. The process of sequential dilution and succussion is called potentization. This research resembles current Western medical practice examples. 1. Vaccines. A small amount of a dead virus is injected into the body to ward off the disease. 2. Snake venom. Small amounts are used in blood pressure medications, also in treating snake bites. Surprisingly, snake venom is also used for the treatment of thrombosis, arthritis, cancer and many other diseases in Western medicine. Dr. Zoltan Takash, toxinologist stated in an article for BBC Earth, snake venom served as templates for some of the top medicines used in high blood pressure, heart failure, and heart attack. The source of the angiotensin-converting enzyme, ACE, inhibitor class of medicines, the Jararaca pit viper snake, Bothrops Jararaca, arguably has saved more human lives than any other animal in the history of mankind. Homeopathic remedies start with substances, such as herbs, minerals, or animal products. These substances are first crushed and dissolved in a liquid, usually grain, alcohol, or lactose, mechanically shaken, then stored. This is the mother tincture. Homeopathic remedies aim to stimulate the body's own healing mechanisms. Homeopaths believe that physical disease often has mental and emotional components, so a homeopathic diagnosis includes physical symptoms, such as feverishness, current emotional and psychological state, such as anxiety and restlessness, and the person's constitution. A person's constitution includes qualities related to creativity, initiative, persistence, concentration, physical sensitivities, and stamina. The right remedy for a condition will take all of these aspects into account, so each diagnosis and remedy is individualized. That means three people with hay fever could need three different prescriptions. The U.S. Congress passed a law in 1938 declaring that homeopathic remedies are to be regulated by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration FDA, in the same manner as non-prescription, over-the-counter, OTC, drugs. This means you can purchase homeopathic medicines without a doctor's prescription. Unlike conventional prescription drugs and new OTC drugs, which must undergo thorough testing and review by the FDA for safety and effectiveness before they can be sold, homeopathic remedies do not have to undergo clinical trials. Insurance companies are more likely to cover homeopathy when the person providing the service is a licensed healthcare professional, such as an MD or DO who also practices homeopathy. To find a homeopathic provider in your area, contact the Council for Homeopathic Certification, homeopathicdirectory.com. The National Center for Homeopathy, homeopathycenter.org. The American Association of Naturopathic Physicians, naturopathic.org. The North American Society of Homeopaths, homeopathy.org. Homeopathic Educational Services in Berkeley, California, homeopathic.com. Please like, subscribe and share our videos. Thanks for watching.